Unit 5.1 The Bloomers Glossary Grapple To fight, especially in order to win something. Cerebral palsy Permanent tightening of the muscles caused by damage to the brain. Dragon Dictate A software which recognizes speech and converts it to text. Assistive Technologist A person who assists with technological gadgets to overcome disability. Gaze Stare at something for a long time. Liberator communication device. A special device used to communicate with eye movements. Inclusion. The act of including someone or something. Cloister. Enclosed by. Collaborative process. Produced by or involving two or more parties working together. A. Answer the following questions in two or three sentences. 1. What are the benefits of the internet to the common man? The internet is one of the greatest creations and gives everyone in the world with internet access to an endless supply of knowledge and entertainment. Internet allows you to learn about almost any topic or question you may have. Using a search engine like Google, you can ask virtually any question and find an answer to that question. 2. Do you think technology has improved communication? How? No. Technology has made people lazy to communicate and play with their friends and relatives. 3. How does David operate computers with the Liberator communication device? For verbal communication, David uses a Liberator communication devices, which he controls with his eve movements. T has a Bluetooth adapter, so it lets him use any PC or Mac by sending commands through the Liberator. 4. Which devices are controlled using Active Controller? He has an Active Controller also in the headrest of his chair, which means using Active Controller he is able to control devices such as Thai, Blu-ray and music players. 5. Who says these words? I want everyone to know the difference technology has made in my life. Alicia utters these words, I want everyone to know the difference technology has made in my life. 6. Which software helps Alicia to overcome her difficulty in typing? Dragon Dictate is the software which helps Alicia to overcome her difficulty in typing. 7. Name a few Indian innovations which are helpful to the disabled and make their day-to-day -day life easier. Lekal Shoes, Bully Watch, Jest are a few Indian innovations which are helpful to the disabled and make their day-to-day -day life easier. 8. Is it possible to control the computer screen with eye gaze? Yes, it is possible to control the computer screen with eye gaze. 9. Suggest ways of making our society inclusive. Ways of making our society inclusive. Create inclusive classrooms. Design accessible communities. Increase disability representation and leadership in media, politics and business. Actively engage with your community members with disabilities. 10. How would you help the people with disabilities in your neighborhood? Newer technology allows differently abled learners to learn with their peers as well as contribute fruitfully to the collaborative process of learning. I will motivate them with this collaborative process of learning. C. Answer each of the following questions in a paragraph of about 100 to 150 words. 1. How do we use technology in our day-to-day -day lives? Today, technology is very important because it is used for almost everything and everywhere. In the present world, people cannot live without technologies such as televisions, mobile phones, computers and others. These technologies have slowly taken an essential part in people's day-to-day -day lives and being without them would be unimaginable for some of us. The invention of the computer has enhanced and companies can communicate more easily with foreign counties. Technology has also increased the productivity of almost every industry in the world. When observed more closely, New things are discovered every day. Let's take for instance when radio waves were discovered, radio broadcasts followed suit almost immediately. The same applies to the television and electricity. In the modern industrial world, 
Machines carry out most of the agricultural and industrial work and as a result, workers produce much more goods than a century ago, technology impacts the environment, people and society as a whole. The way we use technology determines whether its impacts are positive to the society or negative. 2. Technology is a boon to the disabled, justify. Saving technology is a boon may seem like a cliche but just ask a person with a disability, says Amil Bhagwe. Technology is a boon to all the disabled people. Assistive technology is designed to help people with disabilities with their daily tasks in a huge and untapped market in India. This can be clearly shown from the lesson through Alicia and David's life. Their life has changed with the use of technology. Alicia says that she wants everyone to know the difference technology has made in her life. She has cerebral palsy and she can't physically type as fast as she thinks. Kim, who was the assistive technologist at her school, introduced her Tha Dragon Dictate and it has opened up the world to her. According to David, technology is very important because it enables him to communicate and be independent, which gives him freedom. David was born with athetoid cerebral palsy and attends a specialist school and college. He has been using high-tech communication aids since he was 8 years old and has been interested in AAC and technology since ever. There are many different types of technology that can help a young disabled person become independent. See, pick out the contractions from the lesson and expand them. Contractions. Expansions. Can't. Cannot. Your. You are. It's. It is. I'm. L am. She's. She is. We'd. We could. Had. D. Expand the following abbreviations of acronyms. SIM. ISRO. WHO. CCTV. HDMI. Laser. MRI. Cry. RAM. Rome. CPU. ALU. SIM. Subscriber Identity Module. ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. WHO, World Health Organization. CCTV, Closed Circuit Television. HDMI, High Definition Multimedia Interface. Laser, Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation. MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging. CRY, Child Rights and Eucryogenics Cardiac Risk. RAM, Random Access Memory. Room, read only memory. CPU, central processing unit. Alu, arithmetic logic unit. A. Complete the sentences with the correct abbreviations or acronyms from the given list. A. M. V. S. E. T. C. B. C. E. E. G. H. D. M. I. Q. G. P. S. P. M. My dad wakes up very early in the morning because he has to be at work at 6 a.m. Socrates, the famous classical Greek Athenian philosopher, died in 399 BCE. Leonardo da Vinci was a famous Italian polymath, a painter, a sculptor, an architect, a musician, a scientist, etc. I usually return home from work at 10:30 p.m. John downloaded a clip from YouTube in HD quality. There are many irregular verbs in the English language e.g. break, do, make. I'm watching a great football match, Barcelona vs Real Madrid. Humans who dive without protection can survive 300 meters underwater. A 11-year-old girl just beat Einstein on an IQ test. We used the GPS facility to track the location. F. Listen to the passage and state whether the statements are true, t, false, f, or no information, n. Santhia can't live without her mobile phone. True. She got her mobile in January. No information. Her parents bought her the mobile phone one year ago. False. There's a calculator in her mobile. True. Dot. She can connect to the internet on her mobile. True. She usually listens to music on her mobile. No information. He can't read emails on her mobile. No information. There are often a lot of problems with mobile phones. No information. 
Santia always talks on her mobile to her friends. False. She doesn't like mobile phones. False. Dot. G. Listen to the passage again and answer the questions. 1. Where does Santia keep her mobile? Santia keeps her mobile in her mobile. 2. What can she use it for? She uses it for calculating. 3. When was she cycling? She was cycling during holiday last year. 4. What happened there? Her friend fell off her bike and broke her leg. 5. How did Santia solve the problem? Comma, 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 dot, dot. She called the doctor through her phone. H. Complete the sentences after reading the passage. Santia's parents and friends can always call her. Her mobile phone is also a kind of information file. On the cycling holiday after the accident, Santia phoned for help. Mobile phones often ring at the wrong moment. Children can feel safe when they have their mobile phones with them. Reading Jay read the comic strip and answered the following questions. 1. What do you mean by cyber safety? Cyber safety is the safe and responsible use of information and communication technologies. 2. How do you behave in a virtual platform? We have to respect the values of others and sentiments is a punt of global network. 3. Can we read and access the information.05 free of cost? No, we cannot read and access the information free of cost. 4. Do you think that all the information online can be used without any permission? No, we cannot use all the information online without any permission. 5. Which website do you often access? Why? Wikipedia because the website provides lots of information required. Writing. K. Fill in the missing words in tits email. Dear sir, in response to your mail, I have prepared a schedule for the science fest. Please find out the date for your kind perusal. Look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, R. Vijaya Lakshmi. L. Write an email to your teacher about the interesting English model that you have prepared for the literary fest. Dear sir, for the literary fest. Believe that the English model would be up to your level. Please find the schedule for your kind perusal. I look forward to hearing from you. Faithfully, R. Rashmi, M. Practice Exercise. You are the receptionist of your school. Your headmaster instructs you to send a message to all the parents of class 10 to attend a PTA Parent Teacher Association meeting which is to be held on 22-12. The 22nd of December 20xx dear parents a headmaster has asked to inform you about the PTA Parent Teacher Association meet of class 10th which is to be held on 22-12 xx. Parents are requested to attend the meeting without fail. If you are unable to attend the meeting please inform to the class teacher as early as possible. The meeting will be held around 9.00 a. M to 12.00 p. M at our school campus. Balin, Goft, HR, Sec. School, E Road, Grammar. A. Pronouns, 1. Write the words that can replace Ravi, Rani, Woman, luggage and the dog when we use them for the second and subsequent times in the passage he, she, it and her. 2. These words are called pronouns. B. Fill in the gaps with personal pronouns. Kumaravel lives in Thiruvannamalai. He is a doctor. All the people like Ab because of his helping nature. His hospital is located at Ka Street and most of his patients are poor so he does not charge much money. His daughter goes to school. She studies in 5th standard. Her teachers love her very much. Her friends are also very good. They always encourage her. They have given her good advice. Her mother is also a teacher. She always encourage her to keep studying. I also like her as she often comes to my house. One day she told my mother that she wants to learn cooking. My mother taught her cooking. Now, she cooks well. C. Fill in the gaps with appropriate pronouns. It is an excellent opportunity.
One of these two students can solve this question. These books have been written by a great Indian writer. They have come to know the truth. All of the students have passed the exam. One of your friends can guide you. This is your story based on your real life. All your friends will guide you. Any one of his family members would come to visit you. Each of those books will be helpful to wow. This is your bag. You can take it any time. He only is responsible for the downfall of his life. D. Join the sentences. Sing. Relative pronouns. One. I have a book. It is written by Rabindranath Tagore. I have a book which is written by Rabindranath Tagore. Two. Kavita is my teacher. She teaches us English. Kavita who teaches us English is my teacher. Three. This is Vanan. His father is an architect. This is Varun, whose father is an architect. Four. She invited most of her friends. They attended the party. Most of her friends whom she invited attended the party. Five. Give me a pen to write a letter. It was gifted to you on your birthday. Give me a pen to write a letter which was gifted to you on your birthday. Six. I have sold the house. It was located at the bank of a river. I have sold the house which was located at the bank of a river. Seven. Here is your watch. It has been found in the garden. Here is your watch which has been found in the garden. A. Read the different verb forms where they remain the same in the direct and indirect speech in the following cases. Fill in the blanks with missing indirect speech. If the reporting verb is in the present tense, one. I am enjoying my holiday. Krish says that he is enjoying this holiday. Two. I will never go to work. Kavi says that she will never go to work. Who we report a universal truth, something that is always struck. One. Asia is the largest continent. Balu said that Asia is the largest continent. Two. People in Africa are starving. Alicia said that people in Africa are starving, with modal verbs would, might, could, should, ought to, used to. One might come. Shalini said that she might come. Two I would try it. Vinod said that he would try it. With would rather had better. One would rather fly. Chitti said that he would rather fly. Two they had better go. Sophia said that they had better go. In if clauses and time clauses, one. If tidied my mom, my dad would be happy. Shriyam said that if he tidied his room, his dad would be happy. Two. When I was staying in Madurai OCT, my best friend, Jahir, said that when he had been staying in Madurai, he had met his best friend. We do not usually change the modal verbs must and needn't. But must can become had to or would have to, and needn't can become didn't have to or wouldn't have to if we want to express an obligation. Would wouldn't have to are used to talk about future obligations. One, I must wash up. She said that she must wash up. She had to wash up. Two, we must do it in June. He said that they had to do it in June. F read the following dialogue and reported. Johnson asked Suganti what she was doing there, and he said that he hadn't seen her since June. Suganti explained that he had just come back from her holiday in Uti. Johnson wondered if she had enjoyed it. Suganti told him that she loved Uti and that the people have been so friendly. Johnson wanted to know if she went to the Coker's Walk. Suganti said that it was her first trip and that she could show him some pictures. And then she asked him if he was doing anything. The next day, Johnson explained that he has to arrange a couple of things, but he added that he was free at night. Suganti suggested that he might come to her place and asked him at what time should they meet there. Johnson said he would be there at eight, and finally he asked her if it was all right. G. Take the right choice. Indirect speech. Direct speech. Indirect speech. One. Who took my English book? He was curious to know who took my English. Had taken his English book. Takes his English book.
has taken my english book answer had taken his english book 2 where does helen live jim wants to know where helen lived helen lives helen had lived does helen live answer helen lived 3 why do volcanoes erupt she wondered why volcanoes erupt volcanoes had erupted volcanoes erupted did volcanoes erupt answer volcanoes erupted 4 do you know why she is unhappy he asked me if unhappy i know why she is you know why she was did i know why she was i knew why she was answer i knew why she was 5 how many photos have you got he wants to know how many photos thad got photos you have got photos had i got photos i have got answer photos thad got unit 5.2 the secret of the machines glossary furnace an enclosed structure in which material is heated to very high temperatures brought beaten out of shape by hammering gauge an instrument that measures perfection in appearance and quality thousandth a fraction of thousand hall pull or drag with effort or force comprehend grasp understand vanish disappear suddenly and completely a answer the following questions briefly 1 who does we refer to in first stanza a bonton bean b machines we refers to the machines 2 who are the speakers and listeners of this poem machines are the speakers and men are the listeners 3 what metals are obtained from ores and mines iron gold zinc copper 4 mention a few machines which are hammered to design mill machine feed pelletize a machine 5 mention the names of a few machines that emen on water coal or oil steam engine washing machine energy expeller oil machine 6 mention a few used for pulling pushing lifting driving printing plowing reading and writing etc bulldozer crane driller printer tiller scanner typewriter 7 a machines are made to accept the evolution of human brain why yes machines are humble to accept the evolution of human brain because the machines are the brain children of human beings 8 what feelings are evoked in us by the machines in this poem pride and prestige are the feelings evoked in us by the machines in this poem 9 and a thousandth of an inch to give us play which of the following do the machines want to prove from this line a only machines are fed with fuel they take a very long time to start b once machines are fed with fuel they start quickly the answer is b once machines are fed with fuel they start quickly 10 and now if you will set an s to our task we will serve you 4 and 20 hours a day a who does the pronoun you prefer to hear the pronoun you refers to the human beings b whose task is referred to as our task here the task of the machines is referred here c open conditional clause used in the given line why is the future tense will set and will serve use both in the if clause and in the main clause the future tense is used to denote the surety of the statement d do the machine serve us 24 hours a day yes the machine serve us 24 hours a day a rewrite the given lines with the ending 365 days a year and now if you will set us to our task we will serve you 65 and 300 days a year b write your favorite stanza from the poem and find the rhyming scheme lines figure of speech go out smoke may hide the heavens from you rise twill vanish and the seas will shine again because for all our power and weight and size we are nothing more than children of your brain rhyme scheme ab ab see read the poem and find the lines for the following poetic devices or write your own example alliteration 
We can run and race and swim and fly and dive. Assonance. Though our smoke may bite the heavens frown you rise. Personification. We can neither love nor pity nor forgive. Simile. We are nothing more than children of your brain. Unit 5.3. A day in 2889 of an American journalist textual. Questions. A. Answer the following questions in two or three lines. Question 1. Why did Francis Bennett wake up with a bad temper? Answer. Francis Bennett woke up with a bad temper because he was feeling lonely and bored. It was eight days since his wife had gone to France. Question 2. What was a mechanized dressing room? Answer. The machine in the mechanized dressing room washes a person, shaves him, dresses him and buttons him from top to toe on the threshold of his office. Question 3. How was food served to him? Answer. Food was served to him through a network of pneumatic tubes. It was an expensive system, but cooking was better. Question 4. Why was Bennett curious about astronomy? Answer. Bennett was curious about astronomy because one of the astronomers had just determined the elements of the new planet, Gandini. He was delighted to know about the accuracy of it. Question 5. Why did he visit Niagara? Answer. He visited Niagara to see his accumulator works. Thereafter using the force of the cataracts to produce energy, he sold or hired it out to the consumers. Question 6. How did Bennett travel? Answer. Bennett traveled by Aeroca which shot across space at a speed of about 400 miles an hour. Within half an hour, he reached his works at Niagara. Question 7. Give three instances of how mechanization has changed life at home in 2889. Answer. At home through phonotelephote, vision and speech are transmitted. In two minutes, without the help of an attendant, the machine gets a person to be ready, to his office. Food can be served through pneumatic tubes. Question 8. How is advertising in this age different from what we have today? Answer. The gigantic advertisement signs are reflected on the clouds, so large that they can be seen all over the country. From that gallery, a thousand projectors were unendingly employed in sending to the clouds, on which they were reproduced in color, these exorbitant advertisements.